Cassandra Clare is a fantasy adventure author who created a fictional universe called The Shadow World, and it includes the following series. The Mortal Instruments, The Infernal Devices, The Dark Artifices, and The Last Hours. In this video, I'll explain how to read these series to fully understand the universe and lore Cassandra Clare made in her books. To give more background on The Shadow World, I'd recommend checking out a video I made which is linked down below. So without further ado, let's get into it. The first series I would recommend you start with is The Infernal Devices. The Infernal Devices is set in Victorian London, and it comprises of the following books. Clockwork Angel, Clockwork Prince, and Clockwork Princess. The Infernal Devices follows Tessa Gray's story after she gets kidnapped in London, and she unlocks a power that might be able to save the day. Starting with this book series is pretty helpful because, out of all the series Cassandra Clare wrote, this takes place first and the characters in the Infernal Devices are the ancestors of the characters in the rest of the books. So because of this, I would say that picking up the Infernal Devices first would be handy later on while reading the rest of Cassandra Clare's books. The next series I'd recommend is The Mortal Instruments. The Mortal Instruments takes place in New York during the early 2000s, which means it's centuries after the Infernal Devices. It centers around the adventures of Clary Frey, an average 16-year-old girl who witnesses a murder. What's weird about this murder is that nobody but her saw it. Through a series of events, she discovers the Shadow World, and she teams up with Shadow Hunters to fight against Valentine Morgenstern, the main villain. After the Mortal Instruments, I suggest you read The Dark Artifices. The Dark Artifices happens in Los Angeles approximately around 2012, meaning a couple of years after the Mortal Instruments. It composes of Lady Midnight, Lord of Shadows, and Queen of Air and Darkness. It talks about Emma Carstairs, a shadow hunter who lost her parents in the Dark War that took place in the Mortal Instruments series. Ever since her parents' death, she has been obsessed with finding the murderer to get revenge. We also follow Julian Blackthorne, Emma's parabatai and potential love interest, who became a father figure to his siblings ever since the war. Both Emma and Julian love each other deeply, but they can't be together because they are bounded as parabatai. This leads to another adventure against a villain who murdered Emma's parents, and she and Julian try their best to figure out why Emma's parents were murdered in the first place. So the last series you'll read is The Last Hours. Currently, The Last Hours is Cassandra Clare's most recent trilogy, and it takes place at least 16 to 17 years after The Infernal Devices. This series comprises of three books, Chain of Gold, Chain of Iron, and Chain of Thorns. It's about Cordelia Carstairs, a shadow hunter whose father is falsely accused of a horrible crime. Because of this, she tries everything she can to save him. Meanwhile, a new demon threat arises in their midst, and Cordelia teams up with James Herondale to solve the mystery and save the day. This kind of synopsis doesn't really cover everything, because if you try reading the first book, Chain of Gold, there are a lot of stuff going on, but the things I mentioned about Cordelia and James are the main points in the story. So that's how you read Cassandra Clare's Shadow Hunter books. Generally speaking, you can read them in any order you like, mainly because each series can stand on its own and they don't really rely that much on the previous books, but in my opinion, it's best to read it this way. So how about you? What's your favorite Shadow Hunter series? Let me know in the comments down below.